Hey everyone, welcome to Craven Something Scary, where it's all horror, all the time. Now in this video, I'm going to discuss the current status of Jenna Ortega as we now know it. Now there's been a lot of rumors lately, and I've really been holding off on putting out a video until we got a little more information. And now we actually do have some information that we can, I feel is worth discussing with you guys. We finally have a report now where Jenna has indeed indicated what she is thinking in terms of the future with the Scream franchise. Now, while we may not have all the answers yet, we can at least understand now where she's coming from and what possible implications we can draw from her comments. So what exactly did she say? It's coming right up. Let's go. Aloha, Cravenites. I'm Lynn McCree. I played Maureen Prescott in Wes Craven's Scream Trilogy. And you're watching Craven Something Scary. So the Direct has reported this information, and I will be including some of their commentary during the video. But you can check out the full article on thedirect.com if you'd like to check it out. All right, the headline reads, Jenna Ortega's Scream 7 return gets promising update. Now, it goes on to say that according to the rap, Jenna Ortega is committed to Scream 7 despite her busy schedule. All right, now, that's what we know now she has come on record and said. But there's a couple of things that I think are very important that we need to recognize about this, uh, this statement from Jenna that she's committed to Scream 7. We need to recognize this. Number one is that Jenna saying that she's committed to Scream 7 does not mean that she is committed to appear for the entire length of the film. Being committed to the project simply means I am committed to being a part of this movie. And she, you know, she didn't say anything more than that. So we need to be real careful when we're considering these things that we don't just automatically assume that when Jenna says this, that that means she's gonna be committed to a two hour end product film, nine weeks of shooting, in other words. That's not necessarily the case. Now, it could it be the case? Sure, it absolutely could be. But we have to be careful in assuming it means one or the other. We have to keep our minds open to the fact that that could mean committed to being in the movie for a couple of scenes, or it could be for the entire thing. We just don't know yet. That's why I said we don't have all the answers, but we have something now from Jenna that we can at least begin to think about. So just keep that in mind, okay? That's number one. And number two, though, is that Jenna saying that she's committed to Scream 7, it does not necessarily mean that Spyglass and Paramount is committed to waiting for Jenna to be available. It's one thing to say as an actor, I'm committed to being in this project, but she's not the one controlling the project film schedule or the time that they want to get the movie out. Those are things outside of Jenna's control. And so while, I mean, there's many times that in my own life, and I bet you could think of some too, where you've been committed or to doing something or you're all in to do something. Uh, but you know what? There wasn't room for you at the end of the day. Things happen because it's not all in your own control. And I think one thing that will help us maybe look at this a little bit closer 
is to understand Jenna's schedule, upcoming schedule that we know of anyway, thus far to kind of illustrate what I'm saying. So, you know, just a reminder, right? She's making Beetlejuice to the movie and then she has Wednesday season two. So not only will Beetlejuice 2 need to finish filming, so will the entirety of the Wednesday season two, most likely before she can work on screen seven. And this could cause some conflicting schedules and timelines when you're looking at three different studios. Now here's the good news. Beetlejuice 2, which hits theaters in September of next year, 2024, is according to Tim Burton, the director, it's 99% done. That's good news for Jenna. However, Wednesday season two has yet to begin filming. No filming has been done, guys. And according to Netflix, it's on, quote, top of the mind for them. And once the strike ends, once the sex strike ends and is all over, they're going to be getting on it quickly. So where does that put Scream 7 in relation to Wednesday season two. Well, if Scream 7 wants Jenna Ortega, it's very possible that they will have to wait for her filming to be completed on Wednesday season two. Now, if that's the case, just to put it in perspective, Wednesday season one was filmed for seven months. So Ortega's schedule, in theory, may not open up until the middle of 2024, unless her role is cut way down in Scream 7 and she could film like on her off days to get her shots filmed for the movie. So it could be that it's more likely if Spyglass and Paramount are, and all indications are, they want to move quickly on Scream 7, that they want this movie out by the end of 2024. And if that is indeed the case, and they're gonna not, and they're not backing off of that time frame, then we're looking very possibly more likely at a limited role of Jenna in the movie as Tara. So what could a limited role look like? Well, there's a couple of scenarios that I've thought of in my mind that a limited role could look like. The first one would be very much like a Dewey type situation in Scream 5. So Tara could appear in, let's say, the first quarter to near first half of Scream 7, and she's killed by Ghostface at that point in the movie. So now you've got Sam and Chad both out to avenge her death in the second half of the movie. And of course, catch Ghostface and there's all kinds of, you know, intense storylines you could write for them for the rest of the movie. Now that's one scenario that definitely would fit, possibly, in a limited role capacity. But the second one is that she is indeed going to be the opening kill of Scream 7. Now, if you've been a part of this channel for a little while, you've already heard me talk about this. And I've, I've said many times on live streams that I think it's a very real possibility that it's in play for Tara to be the opening kill of Scream 7. And I still feel that way now. I mean, think about it. It would only take probably two to three days, maybe four days of shooting for that for that 10 minute scene. Um, and then she could get right back to Wednesday. So if she was to do it on her off days, you film that, you film a couple of days, she goes back to Wednesday, and then you film a couple of more and then it's over. That's the opening scene. It's all done. And if you do this though, if you have Tara as the opening kill, it would serve as quite a significant tone setter for this movie, guys. Think about that. This is how the movie starts. We lose Tara. I mean, imagine Sam and Chad being rocked to their inner core here, right at the beginning. And just think about what could unfold with them 
teetering on the edge the entire film to find the killer and all of how that would affect Sam being the umbrella sister that we saw in six and how close they are now. It would completely destroy Sam, who's already struggling with issues, as we know, and dealing with things. So this this could provide some very interesting uh, storylines in the movie. And then you bring in Sydney and Gail and possibly Kirby back into the mix. Wow, what a way for Christopher Landon to kick off his first Scream film by taking out Tara in the opening kill. It's got potential. And again, these are just, we're just kind of looking at this as possible scenarios. It's all really gonna come down to what Spyglass and Netflix can, you know, what kind of, a, are they gonna, allowances are they gonna give? Because they both want uh, Jenna and by both, all indications, both studios wanna move quickly after the strike. So someone in there is going to have to compromise if they're going to have Sam, or not Sam, but Tara, they're going to have Jenna Ortega in Scream 7 for any significant length of time, they're going to most likely need to compromise to make this thing work. Will that happen? It could, but it may. It also may not. It could be literally, she's the opening kill and it's done. And that's it. Because as much as Jenna's committed, as she said, to Scream 7, there are other powers that be and out of her control, studios, i.e. studios, that she has no bearing on. She has to wait and see what they can work out. So we'll have to wait and see. I would just say, guys, at this point, prepare yourself for any possibility with Tara, the character, with Jenna Ortega. Just be ready. Be ready for her to be there the entire film. Be ready for her to be there uh, for a quarter to a half of the movie. Be ready to, for her to be there as the opening kill and be ready for her not to be there at all. That's my advice to everyone watching this video. That's how I'm going to look at it. So I'm not going to be surprised by any of it. I'm going to predict all of it's possible. All right. Now, I will uh, leave things here for you guys to think about. Let it soak in. And I want to know what you think about Jenna's comments about being committed to return. Do you think ultimately her schedule will get worked out, that she can be in the film? And what do you think about the possible role she'll be in? Full movie, partial, opening kill, not at all. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I'd love to hear your thoughts, your ideas, and what your theories could be for Scream 7 in relation to the character of Tara. So leave your comments and ideas below right now in the comments section. I love reading your ideas and theories, so please leave them so we can talk about them together. Uh, would be wonderful, and I'm excited to see what you have to say. Let your voice be heard. Type your comments below. Well, guys, that's it for this update, but I'll be back soon with more Scream and other horror movie content. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Craven Something Scary, where it's all horror all the time. Thanks for watching, guys.